to take you to this story. Now the J.G. Zuma Foundation is briefing the media ahead of the court case, which is said to continue tomorrow. Let's take you there live now. In the confusion, in all the confusion, it looks like the left did not know what the right hand was doing because uh, the said decision was clearly made even before all the statements were taken. Speed kills. Another very disturbing new information is that the investigating officer, uh, as part of his engagement with his extensive president Zuma on the 8th of April 2022, he innocently reported that it was decreed that the investigations be directed from the offices of the KZN NPA. On the face of it, nothing turns on that, probably because the scene of the crime was in KZN. However, if one takes into account that the KZN office is the exact same office where President Zuma's prosecution is being masterminded, as things stand, the legal team of His Excellency President Zuma is still awaiting the reasons and the certificate confirming this spurious decision, which was only communicated to him through the Zoom meeting on the afternoon of Friday, 8th of April. Around lunchtime uh, on Saturday, I mean only yesterday, the NPA served a supplementary affidavit in a bid to bolster its case in the postponement application by referring to uh, these carefully orchestrated events. So where to from here? Two things. One, the foundation confirms first and foremost that His Excellency President Zuma, contrary to various uh, speculations, will indeed be at the Peter Maritzburg court tomorrow, 11th of April. He is going to be there. Secondly, his Excellency President Zuma, through his legal team, will be responding to the supplementary affidavit served by the NPA where they seek to introduce new evidence on the events of the last few days. So what was the announcement? Two things. One, in his response, His Excellency President Zuma will remind the court that he has long anticipated that the NPA would refuse to prosecute one of their own, even after his recent retirement. He therefore informed the court in his previous affidavits that he had instructed his legal team to institute private prosecution proceedings against Advocate Downer with immediate effect, subject obviously to all the required administrative protocols and uh, as soon as NPA announces its ex expe expected bias decision. The instruction will now be put into operation in the next few days. So you can take it from me that uh, President Zuma has decided that the only way to deal with down is through private prosecution. So wheels are being set in motion to see to it that a uh, private prosecution happens. The second announcement, the foundation wishes to announce that the legal team of His Excellency President Zuma has filed for his uh, reconsideration application to the President of the Supreme uh, Court of Appeal in Bloemfontein. The Foundation is forever grateful to the efficiency and diligence of the legal team of His Excellency President Zuma because, as you know, that uh, once the ruling is made, you have 30 days to respond. But this very dedicated, resolute uh, team of His Excellency President Zuma has already done all that needed to be done within a short space of time. Mm -hmm. We conclude by saying all, is, all President Zuma is looking for really is his day in court in a fair trial and certainly not a forum which, is being, uh, which has got all the hallmarks of being rigged by the state in the manner described above and all the previous unfair and incorrect decisions uh, which will hopefully be uh, corrected by higher courts. Above all, uh, President Zuma calls on all those who support him to be vigilant, disciplined and patient and always act within the law. No person should take the law into their own hands and similarly, 
there must not be abuse of positional authority. President Zuma will continue to respect the courts irrespective of the treatment meted out to him, like he did when he was incarcerated without trial, like he was denied the right to appeal, like he was denied the right to mitigate sentence, but he still went through the process orderly. In the end, injustice will never triumph over justice. As the Freedom Charter promised, one day all shall be equal before the law. We hold the view that that day has not come yet. President Zuma is treated far from what equality before the law entails. President Zuma is applying for postponement only because at the present moment it is very clear that the conditions for a fair trial are non-existent. When the person who will soon be accused number one in prosecution instituted by him is allowed to prosecute him on behalf of the state. I've never seen such an intractable conflict. The legal team of President Zuma is ready to present his case tomorrow until justice is done. Finally, the Foundation wishes President Zuma a very special and happy 80th birthday on Tuesday, the 12th of April, 2022. Thank you very much. That concludes the press briefing from our side. Happy to take questions, and I'm not going to take five per time. I'll take one on one. Just introduce yourself. I will respond to each question as it comes. Yes, sir. My name is Malou, the boy from Michigan. Just, I just wanted to clarify um, two things you made, which I think they are the crux of this media briefing, right? The private prosecution rules that you go in for. Um, it's, it's not something that's common in South Africa. We've had few cases that have gone on private prosecution, and some of those cases are actually still happening. You, you trust that process even more than the, you know, the one that South Africans are quite familiar with. And you also say that you've written to the President of the Supreme Court of Appeal. What are you saying to you exactly? Thank you, sir. Two things. We, we, the, the, the Foundation holds the view that what is wrong with the justice system is not the system itself, but that the people operating within the system they tweak and turn things and give all kinds of spurious uh, uh, interpretations of the law. So now when we do this private prosecution, the law is going to give in its proper meaning so that justice is not only done but seen to be done. So things are going to be done properly uh, this time if we do private prosecution because we're not going to have a situation where we are even struggling to introduce uh, evidence and all of that. Everything will be upon us to put on the table. So we'll put everything that needs to be put on the table uh, and deal with the matter the way it should. So, so we, we have more conf we, we've tried the other route. Yeah. Uh, it's not working. You have a situation where you have a situation where a case is reported on 21 October 2021, and absolutely nothing happens. And then all of a sudden, in eight days a frenzy of things happen. Yeah? So clearly, you can see that uh, people, individuals, are abusing the system. So we're trying to correct that. That's the first thing. On the second question, uh, with the president of the SCA, I think the issue there is clarity first and foremost. Because in the first instance, there are about four petitions that have been filed but we got a standard stock answer of uh, dismissal. Uh, it's not clear as to what, what are the reasons. You know, one thing that uh, if a person has to spend thousands, these days just millions of friends uh, taking legal counsel and all of that, the little that we really would expect is that if you've gone wrong with your case, 
something must be said to give you comfort that you've been given due audience. We're not getting the sense that uh, 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 things have been dealt with one by one, is it? So we're looking for that granularity uh, and all of that. And I think we think that in that process, there's scope to vary uh, some of the things if things are looked at one by one. That's really uh, what uh, we're looking for. Okay. Bob. In terms of the trial, what tomorrow it starts. So are you going to say that, uh, are you saying that uh, the trial itself is not going to begin tomorrow, that you'll be bringing forward this uh, particular uh, 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 aspect of uh, the private prosecution for court? Is that what you're going to be bringing before the court? And secondly, don't you think that some people may look at it again as being a delay tactic uh, for the former president of the United States? What do you respond to? Okay. Yeah, no, firstly, yes, indeed, we are going to deal with this matter. It's, it's, I can't see how the trial, the real trial will start. I really, sitting where I'm sitting, I really can't see with all the cloud and the dust that is here. I mean, if yesterday, if yesterday we had a, a supplementary affidavit by the NPA responding to some of the things, uh, to the postponement of application, all of that, it's very clear that uh, tomorrow is going to be one of those uh, uh, what lawyers call interlocutory issues or whatever. So it's going to be all those kinds of things uh, tomorrow. I really can't see t trial starting in earnest, uh, as it were. On the issue of the famous Stalingrad, we hold the view as a foundation that actually the state is doing Stalingrad. It cannot be that the state is hanging on to one man, the guy who's on retirement, is hanging on to one man to prosecute this case. Clearly, there must be so many pro capable prosecutors here. And we're not hanging on to a man that has got clean record on all, on all counts. It's clean because somebody else says it's clean, but other people, like the foundation, for instance, uh, hold the view that uh, President Zuma's contention that the man's hands are dirty, that that contention is correct. I mean, you can go back to spy tapes, uh, era, and all of that. So there's quite a few things. But importantly, the issue here is that we have a, a man that is soon to be accused, number one, because private prosecution is going to kick in. How is it possible, really, even if you're not a lawyer, tell me, how is it possible for you to be accused, number one, uh, you know this today, that you are going to be accused, number one, in a, a few days' time? How could you then be expected to run a trial in a free and fair manner? I mean, you're not a robot, you're a human being. You'll be dealing with a person here that uh, wants you to be accused number one on a criminal uh, case that carries a hefty a jail term, it's like 15 years, so a serious issue. How can it be that the system just pretends that a person like that facing such a, a, a calamity will treat you uh, fairly and all of that. It just doesn't make sense. So one would think that the state would do the right thing and just, if they think that we're doing Stalingrad, it's a simple thing. Remove Downer, put another prosecutor, and see what we do. Because I can guarantee you, you do that, the trial will start yesterday. So the state is actually delaying this case by holding on to a retiree. It's actually an insult to the rest of the prosecutors, uh, I would feel very bad if I was a prosecutor in the NPA that the state is hanging on to dear life with a man that is on retirement, and yet there are a lot of fresh people out there. Why is the state uh, insulting other prosecutors? Okay, any other question? Attempts to that the issues are that What do you think is at play here? Why do you, as a politician, what do you think, you know, that might have to for him to accuse himself? Uh, we can't speak. We don't know what, we don't want to speculate. All we just see is a miscarriage of justice. All we just see is a manufacturing of a poisoned tree. Uh, because out of this outcome, if this thing was to proceed like this, it will be fruits of a poisoned tree. All we are interested in is to ensure that a fair trial is not only done, but seen to be done. That's, is, is that really too much to ask? 
We're just asking for a fair trial. We're just asking for conditions to be uh, no cloud under, uh, under the conditions. That's all we're asking for. And we're not, we, have at all, we just don't understand why is it that the state is insisting on doing something that uh, has got all kinds of uh, question marks on it. Why is the state insisting with this? Maybe uh, they should respond to this. Why are they insisting like this? We don't know, and we're not going to uh, speculate their reasons. Yes, Bob. So what happens then if uh, the court denies uh, your request for postponement? We don't want to preempt what the court will do. It's always good to go there in good faith, and we have no reason to believe that that will be the, uh, the, the outcome. Uh, but uh, in the uh, uh, event that happens, uh, I'm sure the legal team will apply its mind and uh, do whatever is the right thing to do uh, to achieve justice. But what I can assure you is that uh, the legal team of President Zuma uh, and President Zuma himself are very resolute. All right, coming out of that briefing from the J.G. Zuma Foundation, confirming there uh, that President, former President Zuma is going to be present at the Peter Maritzburg High Court tomorrow uh, when his corruption trial resumes. Also confirming uh, that former President Zuma is pursuing private prosecution of advocate Billy Downer as he believes that Downer will not give him a fair trial.